Hi guys, it's Nova here. Today I'm bringing you another airbrushing tutorial, only this time I'm going to be on my PC and I'm using Photoshop instead. So I am using, um, I know it's super old, but I use Photoshop Elements 6.0. I do have a version of CS on here, I just never really got on with it. Elements is something that I learned how to use when I was a teenager because it was cheap and I could afford it on my PC and I just, it does everything that I need to do. So I think this tutorial will still work no matter what version of Photoshop you're using. Some of the tools might be in slightly different places, but um, as far as I know, the tools remain the same regardless of what version you're using. So um, here we have this picture of myself that I used for my Facetune tutorial. This is what we created in Facetune. And here is the original. So I am going to now take you through the steps that I would use to airbrush in Photoshop. So one of the first things I will do in Photoshop, um, because I would normally do this using filters in Instagram, is play around with the lighting. And I will play around with the levels here. Um, the levels is a great tool, it has so much more control over the contrast and basically what you want to make sure that you have is a very clear black and a clear white with a nice range of tones in the middle. So the contrast in this picture is actually pretty good but um, I do quite like it to be a little bit brighter so what I would normally do is just brighten up using the middle tick here and then I would drag back down dark tones again until it looks somewhere acceptable because you want the blacks to come back again and then if you look at the before and after I just think it looks brighter and fresher so yes I'm going to be keeping that okay next up I will be increasing the saturation a little bit here you don't want it to look too crazy, but I do want a little bit more colour in my cheeks. There we go, that looks about right. Um, okay, so first things first, like with the face tune tutorial, I'm going to whiten my teeth a little bit. For this I'm going to use the brush tool, um, that size looks about right. And the mode here, I'm going to change to colour. Now all of these different things under the mode drop down box changes what your brush is actually doing. So colour will um, change the colour. So if you go for a black or a white, it's going to change it to desaturated to those colours. And the opacity, I'm going to do about 34. Now if I drag this over my teeth, you can see the yellow tones start to disappear. I might do it just once more, a little bit down here. And as with the tool in Facetune, I'm going to also do this on my eyes. Perfect. Um, I'm also going to use the colour dodge mode. I'm going to take the opacity down to about 12. And this, I'm going to brighten my eyes with. Now it only works on white for colour dodge, so use black. And if I drag over here, you can see it just brightens them up. And I might go over this a second time, actually. Perfect. Okay, um, next up I'm going to take care of the dark circles under my eyes and for this I'm going to use the clone stamp tool which is this one here. And the clone stamp tool works by you have to hold down on a PC the alt key um, and then it will turn to this little target and this will be targeting the area that you are copying. So I usually go just below about here and now wherever you draw is going to copy from that target. Um, opacity, I'm going to keep it about 32. And then if I drag over here, you see where the X is? That is what you're copying and overlapping. So that just gets rid of that there. And that there. This is also the tool I will use on my lace front here. 
Um, opacity, yeah, maybe about the same. And I'm going to again select just underneath and halfway through. Actually, you know, that opacity could be increased a little bit. There we go. So I'm just dragging this along the lace and this side. I might do another pass with a slightly bigger brush there. Perfect. Right, now for some of this um, texture here where my eyebrows are coming through, I'm going to use the blur tool, which is this one here, the little raindrop. Um, I like to have this on 100% strength. And I'm going to just increase the size of the brush a little bit. And this you can drag over a few times. Actually, that might be a little much. Let's take that down a little bit. 76, let's try that, that's better. And this I'm just blurring out bits that I want to be a bit smoother. Just like I use the defocus tool in Facetune. I'm using this the same way. Get rid of my little crease in my chin there. Um, now I'm going to go back to the clone stamp tool and fix my eyebrow like I did in the previous video for Facetune. Um, and I'm going to, there we go. Perfect. To fill in this black here, I'm going back to the brush tool, although I'm going to go back onto the normal setting, maybe about 30%. I'm going to pipette the black from here so I know it's the same colour and it will match, and I'm just going to do a few strokes here. Perfect. Now if I zoom out, a good way to get a before and after in Photoshop, a little trick, is if you go up to edit and click revert, it will take the picture back to what it was. So this is the before and then if I do control Z, which will do the undo, you can see the current. Before, after, before, after. Um, another little trick that I like to do is under filter, noise. And reduce noise. This is a great one for just an overall nice soft filter without losing too much um, definition and detail of the picture itself. So here's one of the presets that I normally work with. So I've got the strength up to 6 here and preserve details to 13. And um, you can increase the strength that will make it more blurry. Um, and you can also increase preserved details that will keep some more of the details or you can lower it and make it even blarier but I think that this one for me looks about right so if I click OK that smooths that up very nicely and then if you want to bring some of that sharpness back out you can just go into the how did I do that? enhance adjust sharpness that's a bit much, let's lower that a little bit. I think that just makes the eyes pop a little bit more. I think the last thing I'm going to do here is just clean up the eyebrows even more. I don't like this texture here, so I'm going to blur this. A little line there I'm not a fan of.
and I might just soften this texture of my nose here as well. And we have a little bit of texture on my forehead. Get a nice big brush here and just soften that out. Not that you really notice it in this picture, but another little tip that I like to do, especially um, for us Brits, because we don't get a lot of sun usually, is if I pipette from my um, foundation, a nice mid-tone, let's go for about here. You can use the brush tool with the colour mode, maybe about 30-40% and you can colour in your arms to match your foundation or any other skin that's on show that might not match <laughs> the colour of your face and it's a very subtle little tool there but I think it does make a difference. There we go, so if I zoom in 100% you can see the final result, if I do edit, revert, you can see the before and the after, and now if I paste this over our Facetune picture as a new layer, we can compare the two. So that was our Facetune picture, and that's our Photoshop picture. Now I know the Photoshop one looks brighter and more colourful, but don't forget these are things that you can achieve in Instagram with Instagram filters. Um, however, I do think if you've got the time and the means, you can do a lot more in Photoshop. The temptation is a lot bigger though. You can see already I've done a lot more smoothing out in Photoshop than I did in Facetune. <laughs> um, I think Photoshop is just a much more powerful tool um, and there is a lot more you can do with it. So it's really up to you. I think Facetune is great in a, in a bind and it lets you upload pictures really quickly and you're kind of forced to be a bit more gentle with it, I think. Um, and then whereas Photoshop, the world really is your oyster. You can go a bit crazy with it if you like. Okay then guys, I really hope you enjoyed my Photoshop tutorial as a counterpart to my Facetune tutorial. If you want to subscribe to our channel, please feel free and don't forget to click the little bell so you become part of our notification squad and also if you feel so inclined check out our patreon it's patreon.com forward slash novimpia i'll speak to you guys really soon bye a great big warm welcome aboard to our latest patron sasha poppy jarvis hello sweetheart